What's going on everybody? It's the Bull Show, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, just when you think it is time to sleep, you've had a long day, you're going to get some well-needed rest, all of a sudden the Chicago Bulls decide to bring out some very big news in relation to our two-way contract spot. So today, we're going to be taking a deeper dive into the Chicago Bulls and who they have signed with this two-way contract spot, and ultimately his name is Costas Antetokounmpo. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the bull show turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the chicago bulls new signing from the two-way contract spot costas antetokounmpo played a couple of preseason games i've got to say it was fairly average but looking at the whole grand scheme of things in terms of the two-way contract spot it's not necessarily about who plays better in preseason or who does well in training camp again if it's based on just performances alone and who's done what and who's played better who's made more shots you would probably still give this uh, two-way contract spot to Malcolm Hill. But it's gone to Costas Antetokounmpo because I think there is more development in someone like Costas Antetokounmpo as well as, again, his age, what he can bring to the table if he does do well for the Chicago Bulls and things like that. His size, his athleticism, his physicality, all these things are good qualities that Costas Antetokounmpo can bring. But without a shadow of a doubt, in my opinion, if you're looking based on performances, he's one of the last guys I would really consider giving this two-way contract spot to. I really thought Javon Freeman Liberty played a little bit better. I thought... Uh, Carly Jones played a little bit better, and I thought that uh, Malcolm Hill played better as well. So those guys, based on performances-wise, should get this role. But at the end of the day, I honestly can say I am happy and content with this decision. I have been looking at Costas Antetokounmpo since the Bulls have said we are interested in him. I hoped we were interested in him, not just because of the possibility of signing Giannis three years down the line and things like that, that we actually had genuine interest in what he could bring to the table. And it's clear to see that the Bulls might just have something up their sleeve in terms of his development that could end up benefiting us for the, for the long term. So I'm very, very happy about that. Also, because I'm not going to make this video terribly long, again, I do want to get some sleep. I did want to mention as well that as of now, maybe five minutes from now, uh, we will know who got waived and who's not going to be participating. But it's actually not official that all the other guys like Malcolm Hill, like uh, Carla Jones got waived just yet. So there is still a possibility right now that we may see Justin Lewis actually get... I guess the cut for the Chicago Bulls still. It was always a big possibility when we saw that he got injured and again we wish the best to Justin Lewis on and hopefully a speedy recovery but we've had this conversation with a couple of other guys before when they've got injured on two-way contract spots. The Bulls have let them go. Uh, I think Max Strauss was the one that really comes to mind there so it could very well be a very similar fate for Justin Lewis. But until we get further information, I'm not going to say it was Justin Lewis. I'm not going to say that it was the extra two-way contract spot. Until we truly figure it out, until the roster is 100% confirmed, we just have to wait and see what the Bulls announcements will come with. But for now, we'll celebrate Costas Antetokounmpo getting a two-way contract spot. Or for many people, it might not even be a big deal. Some people might not even be happy with the selection. But... That's what the Bulls have decided to go with. I am content and happy with this decision. Of course, if it's just based on performances, I think Malcolm Hill should get this. But if it's based on every other aspect, like development, like age, like qualities and needs, I think Costas Antetokounmpo is one of those guys that we could turn to and say, yeah, if we can develop this guy, I think he could be very good for the Chicago Bulls. But time will tell. Hopefully, he takes this opportunity and runs with it. And if he gets game time, hopefully he delivers when it matters the most. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new again not making this video terribly long i'll see you in another chicago bulls video have a wonderful and safe day stay safe stay healthy stay tuned for more take care and peace